Hello and welcome to the interview here on France 24. Well, German politician and writer Thilo Sarrazin caused a huge outcry in Germany when he argued in an explosive book a few years back that Muslim immigrants were undermining German society by failing to integrate. Now, less educated immigrants, he argued, were having babies at far higher rates than better educated German women. And this is what he wrote, showing, using a lot of statistics to support that argument. Unless something were done about it, he said that Germany's post-war success and prosperity would be in jeopardy. Now, Sarrazin's views forced him to quit his job at Germany's central bank, and there were some in his own social democratic party who had wanted him to leave. He was able to remain in the party. Uh, his book uh, was published in German, never came out in English, but it has just come out in French, and it's called Germany is Disappearing. And uh, Mr. Sarrazin is our guest today. Uh, he's joining us from uh, Berlin to uh, speak about it. Uh, thanks for being here, sir. Um, you have said, this book came out three years ago, you have always said to critics who accused you of being a racist, you basically said you were being a scapegoat for raising issues that other people avoided out of political correctness. But do you ever fear that perhaps you are also playing into the hands of right-wing forces, far-right forces, and radical forces in German society? Well, I don't think so. This, uh, that what I wrote was uh, true. It was the statistics, and it, and it has not been proven wrong. And my uh, the argument was the quite the moderate. We have a very the low the birth rate in Germany, the, uh, the German births are uh, falling uh, by not a 30 percent with every the generation. And this means that, uh, that the, the Germans are getting not, uh, not a fewer and fewer. And of course, uh, uh, we need some kind of uh, not immigration but we need the, the right kind of immigration in order to succeed. We need the immigration of not the qualified people uh, who are uh, uh, not a similar enough to our culture, and the wrong kind of immigration makes our the problems worse, but not better. Sir, and this is where I think some people hear you say that. And this is where the alarm bells perhaps go off, especially when they hear a German saying that. Um, because your book suggested sometimes that the immigrants, not suggested, almost stated, were socially, culturally, and intellectually inferior to better educated German women. And, and would you, do you stand by those views today? You're, it's, it almost suggests that the, the babies they are having are somehow inferior to the babies that the Germans, the pure Germans, are having. No, it's not a matter of not, uh, not the German or the, the not German. It's a matter of who uh, who the comes to Germany and the who gets the babies. Polish immigrants, immigrants uh, from uh, from Eastern from Eastern Asia, from the Vietnam, it don't pose any of the problems at all. Uh, uh, problems are caused by uh, immigrants from. Uh, not the Islamic, the cultures, it's a matter of the culture, not, a, not of genetics. And yet, sir, Turkish immigrants, uh, the immigrants from one of the biggest Muslim nations in the world, uh, they, ha they helped Germany build its prosperity in the post-war period under the, the guest worker, the Gastarbeiter system. Every, every Turkish uh, immigrant who works in Germany and uh, earns his money is a, not a welcome immigrant. Uh, we had, uh, we had uh, not a 700,000 Turkish guest workers around 1970, and now we have uh, the Turkish uh, not, not a population of 3.5 million people, more than the half of them unemployed. But Germany still does need these immigrants, does it not? Especially to do a lot of the jobs that Germans themselves do not want to do. It's not a matter of immigration or not immigration. It's a matter of the 
uh, that are right immigration. High-skilled immigrants is what you're thinking of. I just want to ask you, you have argued that Germany's very generous welfare system saps the initiative, basically makes people less motivated uh, to, to, to basically get a job, to be productive. Um, and you said that the poor could easily survive on the equivalent of, say, $5.50 a day. Um, do you still believe that? Well, it's a fact that, that, that with the benefits from the, not the German uh, the, not the welfare system, especially not the child allowances, you have a far higher standard of living than you have uh, if you have an, have an uh, average salary or have no the salary at all in, in the eastern of uh, the Turkey, in uh, the Syria, in Arab countries, and so on. So, so the, what we have are the, not the wrong incentives. The wrong incentives. Your book was one of the best-selling books in decades in Germany, so one of the best-selling books since the post-war period. I think over two million volumes in Germany were sold. And almost half... 1.5 million. 1.5, okay, I exaggerated. Almost half of Germans, some surveys suggested, agreed with your views. Now, does it concern you, the reason some of those Germans may be agreeing with you? You might have statistically backed up arguments, but do you fear some of the people who agree with you might not be agreeing for all the right reasons? Well, uh, not, not everybody need agree, uh, uh, but... Uh, that nobody has uh, to prove any of my statistics wrong. They are all the official statistics. We, uh, what do you think should you, you're calling for reforms of Germany's welfare system because you say if things are left as they are, it will get a lot worse. What do you propose? What do you want Angela Merkel to do? Well, at first, uh, it is important uh, that we have the right incentives. This means uh, that every uh, uh, that those who come to germany and are allowed uh, that to stay here get for the first 10 or the 15 years uh, those uh, uh, the not a welfare payments uh, that they would get in their home country mm. paul say that half of the turkish people living in uh, the Germany that would return not immediately to, to Turkey, the word not for the German welfare system. Have you ever actually had a discussion one-on-one uh, -on -one with Angela Merkel about this? Because she has said herself she believes multiculturalism in Germany is dead and she believes integration is necessary. It sounds like she agrees with quite a bit of, of what you say. Well, Angela Merkel has not read my book, as she admitted. And uh, uh, I think, as Angela Merkel does, that we have to integrate those, uh, those the foreigners that are living in Germany. There is uh, no, there is no the choice but to do that. But, uh, but we have to be very the careful with regard to, to further immigration. You've also been, your critics have accused you of bashing Islam uh, by saying that Islam, no other group, is more closely associated with welfare benefits and with crime. Do you feel that you are unfairly singling out one group? Well, I don't think that I, that I have been bashing Islam. Uh, 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 what, uh, what I said in my book can be read in many other other not. Uh, no, other you're not the only groups. one who said it, right? Pardon? You're not the only one who's made this argument, but I'm just asking whether or not you believe that this, the, it's unique to one group. The, 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 these problems. Well, uh, um, it's uh, it's a fact uh, that uh, other. Uh, the groups of immigrants do much better in Germany than the, those from not the Islamic uh, countries. And it's a fact that, uh, that uh, many of the, the problems which uh, uh, countries with Islam face have at home are being imported uh, to the Western Europe.
with those immigrants. Sir, do people ever ask you? You can see that in France, for example. Right. You, you, as I said in the beginning, you are still a long-standing member of the Social Democratic Party. In Germany, that's considered a left-leaning party. Are people sometimes surprised that you're still a member of that party? And why, why are you a Social uh, Democrat? Some of your views don't sound well, like... Uh, why, why I am a Social Democrat? Uh, I, I believe in, uh, in uh, equal chances for everybody who lives in Germany. I believe in a, a strong government. I believe in a good educational uh, system and in an uh, the efficient uh, the redistribution of wealth by the government. This is my belief and this is all very uh, social democratic. Dilo Zarazin, unfortunately, we are going to have to leave it there. I thank you for joining us today. Your book, uh, Germany is Disappearing, L'Allemagne Disparée, has just come out in French. So I guess our English viewers won't be able to, uh, to read it. Uh, you also told me earlier that it has not been published. No American publisher actually would publish it, so it's not out in English. Uh, but perhaps that will happen someday. Thank you very much for joining us today uh, and sharing your time thank and your you. views and your views with us. And thanks to all of you for watching the interview here on France Van Cat. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.